my channel my name is Sarah and in today's video I'm gonna show you a little bit of a haul I did get a few things over the last few weeks and then we're gonna decorate my hatch for spring because I am late to the game this year it is only a few weeks before Easter and I still have not decorated <laughs> but as you know I've been working on a lot of projects around here I am still working on that never-ending hallway I am taking a break from it right now the last step I need to do is paint and I do need a couple more little trim pieces but other than that, it's pretty much finished. I have been filming it, so eventually it will come up on the channel. I'm just taking a break from doing the hallway just because I, I feel like it's never ending and I just needed a break. And yeah, I'm really, really, really happy with all the progress I have made. I'm super proud of myself of everything that I have done so far, but I just needed a little bit of a break. So we're going to do a um, little bit of a decor haul and then a uh, decorate my hutch for spring. And then next, week video, next week's video will be a specialized video that is a sponsorship. So that video will come out and then we'll get back to working on the hallway because, yeah. Anyways, that's just how it's working out this time. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the haul. I have a few... Hold that thought. All right, sorry about that. Every time I sit down to film, my dog barks to go outside. It is inevitable. It happens every time I start filming. So anyways... Without further ado, we're gonna jump into the haul. I did get a couple thrifted things and then the rest is from Michael's. It's not so much spring decor, it's just decor that I have been picking up over the last little while that I want to share with you. And then we will be putting spring decor on the hutch behind us. So <coughs> we will do Michael's first because all that stuff is kind of sitting on the top. So from Michael's, I ended up getting a couple different, or two different um, candle holders. I got this beautiful one beautiful one and it's a little bit speckled and I just thought it was really pretty I really like the colors of it this was $12.99 for Canadians and $11.99 for the US and I love the little handle on it I just think it's really pretty so I got that and then I got these two they're the exact same but I just wanted a pair the only thing that I kind of dislike and it's probably an e it's gonna be an easy fix I know it's an easy fix because I can just get some black paint and paint that silver inside to black because I just feel like it's really noticeable and and there is a little bit of a lip on the top so when there's a candle in there, you can still see this over a little bit, which I don't necessarily love. But like I said, it's an easy fix. I can just take some black paint and um, paint that little silver piece to make it not as noticeable. But I got a set of two of these. And these were, again, $12.99 for Canadians. And these ones were actually $9.99 for the U.S. So I got these two holders. And I love the way that these look because they look kind of vintage, but they're not vintage, which I really liked. So And they are... Um, like ceramic they are glass ceramic -y kind of things so there's those two and then to go along with my candle holders i ended up getting some uh, candlesticks i got these off-white ones they are twisted and i really love the look of those these were 6.99 for the us and 9.99 for canadians they are unscented tapered candles and they're just twisted so this is like an off-white color and then I got this really pretty, I don't know if it has like a name, like what color it says it is on here. Um, it doesn't say a color, but it's like a, I don't know, it's kind of like pinky, but pinkish brown maybe. It's a really pretty color. And again, they are twisted and these were $6.99 for the US and $9.99 for Canadians. And yeah, it doesn't say a color, but... Yeah, I just really like them. So I got these ones. I think that these ones are really cute for springtime because they are a little bit pink, but they're like pinkish brown. I really like these. Okay, and then the last thing I got from Michaels, which I love, is this massive lumbar pillow. My son has been playing with it a lot, so it's probably already dirty and it's already full of dog fur, but um, it's this like creamy color with brown on it. And it looks like one of those, um, like, is it Turkish or I don't know, like those old like rug pillows that we've been seeing around a lot lately. I just really love the way that this looks. And the only thing that kind of sucks about Michael's pillows or the, any of the Michael's pillows I've ever purchased 
is they aren't covers so you can't take the pillow out and like wash the cover it's you got to wash the whole pillow which is kind of stinky like i hate that kind of um pillow but i liked it nonetheless so i ended up getting it but i don't remember the price of this one because i did take it off already because we have been i've already put it on the couch and we've been using it and like i said my son has been playing with it a lot so um yeah but i do really love the look of this and i think it's really pretty it is this on one side and then it's just plain on the other but yeah i just really liked it and had to have it so i got that and then the next couple items i got one is from i want to say oh it says i got it from goodwill i don't remember if i shared this with you guys or not i got this quite a while ago i got it when my mother-in-law was here and i just i don't think i ever shared it because i only found the one item that day i think but i have this bowl it is like scalloped and i think it's really pretty i paid 550 for it at the goodwill there is no stamp or anything on it but i just really liked it and i thought it was such a cute little decorative bowl that i could use on my hutch or any anywhere decor um i could use it as like a fruit bowl anything like that but yeah i just thought it was really cute so i had to have that and then the last item that i found and i ended up getting this on ebay because i couldn't i've been looking for one while thrifting for a really long time and just have never found one and i just really liked the book so you know i had to have it so i ended up ordering it from ebay it was like 13 something canadian it wasn't very much and then again i had to pay for shipping which wasn't too bad either i think again it was like maybe 12 or 13 dollars it wasn't too bad but i really wish i would have found it thrifting but i haven't found it so it is the martha stewart's gardening month by month book and i saw it on i don't know where i saw it i saw it somewhere and just really liked the way that it looked and like someone like flipped through it and i just loved the pictures of it so this is what it looks like underneath the sleeve i think it is such a gorgeous green color it has the title on the side which i'll probably take the dust cover off because i don't necessarily love that i love the look of this without the i just don't like the dust cover anyways the ow i just pinched my finger um that really hurt like i don't even know if you guys can see that it like it's all bubbled out i really pinched it anyways on the inside it has like her whole gardening area like she puts down like where she puts what it's like a whole map of her garden i thought that that was really pretty and then again like it goes month by month so you have get to it so then you have what she does in January and then it goes month by month and it's just really interesting and I just thought it was really neat and like March is when she starts to like plan out what she's going to plant and then when does she start planting I want to say I'm not sure oh some things had to be planted in May so you got May and then she just like talks about what she does and each of the months that she does things and i just thought it was like a really neat oh, like her gardens are so pretty like she has fruit garden she had flower garden like i don't know she just had like the beautiful beautiful gardens and i just had to have the book i don't do a lot of garden gardening i don't really have a green thumb i would love to um hopefully eventually we'll see but if we ever buy in the country which is a dream of mine maybe then but right now i don't even know like we have a small fenced yard i could probably do like a box to garden but um yeah maybe one day i just there's just really beautiful pictures in this book and i just think it's a great book and it's something that i can reference or read and look over while dreaming about owning in the country and having my own garden someday Hopefully that will happen, but we'll see. But anyways, I did pick this up at, on eBay, like I said, and those were all the things that I found or that I have picked up in the last few weeks for decor. And then I don't even think I'll use any of this on the spring, like for my hutch for spring, but <coughs> maybe we'll see how it turns out or how I decide to decorate. But without further ado, we're gonna jump into clearing this hutch off and getting it decorated for spring and Easter.
Okay, before I get this wiped down, I do just want to mention that I love the way that it looks. I love the simplicity of how I've had it styled for the last couple of months. So I'm definitely going to keep a lot of the same elements that are on here. I'm just going to wipe it down and dust everything and then kind of add some spring pieces to it just because I do just love how simple it has been and not feeling over cluttered or anything like that. So I think I'm just going to wipe it down and add a few spring touches just to kind of like, I don't know, pizzazz it up, I guess I would say, or like make it look a little bit more, I don't know not so basic but i do like i said i do love such like this simple look that i've had for quite a while so i'm just gonna add a few spring pieces like i said and yeah let's let's just start doing some stuff around here <laughs> share with you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this little haul and decorating video if you did please give it give it a thumbs up as it really helps me out and definitely consider subscribing if you enjoy decorating videos makeover videos thrifting videos i do lots of those types of videos here on this channel and i would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>